In order to access network shares from a computer running Microsoft Windows, you will need both a username and password to your file server and either the file server's IP address or its host name. As there are multiple ways that we can connect to a network share in Windows, let's start by opening a share from within the Start menu. If we select the Start button, and then in Search type backslash backslash, then the IP address of our file server. When we press Enter on our keyboard, a File Explorer window will open, displaying a list of the network shares that are on our file server. By selecting one of these shares, our computer will then open that network share so that we can start to use it. It's worth noting that we were not prompted for a username and password. This is because the username and password that we're using to log into Windows matches the username and password that we created for our network shares. However, if you're using a Microsoft account in order to sign into your version of Windows, you will be prompted for your file server's user credentials in order to log into your network shares. As you may have noticed, in order to access network shares in Windows, you will always be redirected through File Explorer. So if we reopen File Explorer, let's take a look at how we use it in order to access our network shares. If we locate and select the address bar in File Explorer, then type backslash backslash and enter the IP address of our file server. When we press enter on our keyboard, we're shown a list of our network shares. From this list, we can now choose the shared folder that we wish to open. Alternatively, and depending on how the network you are connecting to has been configured, you may be able to access your file server using its host name. So for example, and once again from within File Explorer, if we select the address bar and type backslash backslash, then enter the hostname of our file server. When we press enter on our keyboard, we're shown a list of our network shares. In order to more quickly access a specific network share, if we type the network path to the share that we wish to open, we can more effectively access that share. Once again, if we type backslash backslash, then either the IP address or host name of our file server. If we then type another backslash, Windows will then list our network shares. So to more quickly access a specific share, we can either select a share from this list or type the full path to our share. As accessing file shares from Windows will require that you at least know the IP address or the name of a file server. To make things easier, you may find that you prefer to use File Explorer to browse for your network shares. As Windows supports something called Network Discovery, if from the sidebar of File Explorer we select Network, we are then prompted to enable Network Discovery on our computer. As Network Discovery will scan our network for networked devices, we will need to authorize its use. File Explorer will now display a number of headings relating to specific elements of our network. So in order to access our network shares, if under the heading Computer, we locate the hostname of our file server, when we select it, a list of the network shares that it is hosting will be displayed. So as long as we have the correct access permissions to a shared folder, if we simply double click on any of the folders listed, we can open that network share.